I grew up in the arcades during the 80s and 90s, and I loved playing games like Street Fighter, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Sunset Riders. They were just pure, unadulterated fun, and I could pop into an arcade for an hour or two and experience three or four games. Now don't get me wrong, I still enjoy modern gaming, but sometimes I just want that pure fun. I don't have to invest 30, 40, 100 hours into a game. I just want 30 minutes of fun. Do you know what I mean? Well, today we've got a game that offers just that, and it's available on modern consoles. It's a modern retro arcade game. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you a game that whilst not on your Sega Mega Drive should be and whilst you're not playing your Sega Genesis you should be playing. Battle Axe is a game from Bitmap Bureau and Numskull Games and it's a classic arcade hack and slash. The game is available to buy now and you can get it on your Nintendo Switch, your PlayStation 4, your Xbox Steam and for those lucky enough a PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 version has just come out and it is a special edition. But before we go into the details of the game and take a deeper dive into exactly what it is, I want to get a first impressions feel for what Battle Axe is like to play. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing uh, first impressions of this game and then we'll dive into a little bit more about the specifics of this game and how you can get yourself a PlayStation 5 Special Collector's Edition copy. To start off with, it looks amazing, I love the pixel artwork, sound is already off to a good start, two players which is awesome, It'd be amazing if it was four but two players good. Uh, right, difficulty hard, vibration on. CRT shader. Let's have a look what that does. Interesting. I think it's just uh, scan lines. Uh, audio. Okay, that's normal audios. Controls. We've got achievements. That's very cool. Bravest Warriors. What's Bravest Warriors? Okay, that is a leaderboard. What else do we have here? We've got language. I can guess what language. Right. We're not going to play on hard because. Um, Bitmap Bureau have a, a, a reputation for what hard really is, and it's hard, hard. So uh, let's take that down to uh, easy uh, and try it on there. One player for now. Ooh, infinite mode, new game plus. Very cool. How many characters? I've well, got three characters to choose from. What do we think? I like CQC, so I think range, CQC, uh, magician, range probably. Maybe two range and one CQC. Let's uh, choose the dark elf. Ooh. The pixel art looks lovely. Right, what have we got? Attack. That's. Amazingly satisfying, just watching them explode into uh, bloods and blood parts. So we got oh, so we got a close quarter, and then we've got a ranged attack. So we have ranged anyway. So I wonder if they're all oh, what's that one? That looks like some kind of recharge move. Uh, right, off we go. I mean. Straight off the bat, if you love pixel artwork, this is already stunning. It is a beautiful looking game. And the attacks, the attacks are really nice. Oh, what's that? I found someone. Okay, so I found, found someone and I'm killing people. It's a nice, at the moment it's only one hit to kill a character. I'd love it if some of these were a number of hits as it got hard. Maybe that's what it is when you play on harder modes. It does uh, it does less damage so you have to hit it more. Because that's what I, I feel it's missing so far. A single hit is way too easy. You don't get the feeling of the knives cutting in. 
Do you know what? I think collecting... I wonder if this was... I bet this was on Kickstarter. Because the Bitmap Bureau guys did something where if you backed the game, you could be a character in the game. Uh, and those civilians all have names on their heads. So I wonder if those are, are Kickstarter backers. Similar, similar to what they did in Xeno Crisis. Oh, look, this game is... Like, I've said it already, but if you love pixel art, this is for you. It's absolutely beautiful. So the shoulder buttons don't do anything. So you've got three moves, basically. We've got this ranged attack. And then we've got CQC. And then I think we've got what is a special move. Oh, we've got a bomb. How do I use a bomb? I'm going to have to read the instruction manual, aren't I? <laughs> Don't read instruction manuals. Just keep them in the box. So the combat is, is super simple. You know, hit things, they die. You know, classic, classic hack and slash. Like I said, I wish some of these bad guys had a little bit more health to them. Yeah, look, these these must be. This must have been on Kickstarter. I'll, I'll have a look up later, but I reckon it was on Kickstarter, and those are our backers. Um, like I was saying, I just wish it had a little bit more. A couple more hits of the combat will give the weapons more uh, weight to them, as if they're cutting through things. Sound is beautiful. Uh, this this is a classic, classic feeling retro game. You know, if you love playing on the, the Super Nintendo, on the Mega Drive, on the Saturn, even the Dreamcast to an extent, uh, Neo Geo, any of those consoles, if you love any of those kind of consoles, those kinds of experiences, um, then you're going to love this. Feels so good. Again, they they achieve so much with the visuals here. And with hack and slashes, it's all about how your characters or how the enemies react to your attacks that make it feel weighty. Uh, that make it make it feel satisfying. And when you get a couple of hits, like when I'm attacking those towers, there is that real feeling of weight to your attack. Because you're doing two or three attacks to the actual enemy. Like here, when I'm attacking these fences, they need a couple of hits. And, and, and that's what gives like a beat em up or gives a, uh, a hack and slash, anything where you're close quartered, makes it feel like you're making a, a real connection to the game or to the enemies on screen. Okay, this ranged, yeah. How do I use my bombs? Hang on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Use, Mike, the one button you're not using. <laughs> yes, he's gone. Come on. Awesome. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, I got a rank D. I would say that easy is easy. Maybe next, when I play this through to do the, the preview of the game, um, we'll do it on medium. Right, we can buy some stuff. Uh, what can I buy? What do they do? Let's have a look. Uh, some kind of spell. I'm guessing that's health. Uh, that's green, so it must relate to that green bar along the top there. So maybe that's also health. Uh, S. Something to do with your special move. Defense. Magic. Exit, I reckon. Right. I'm going to choose the winged coin. Because I think that's something to do with my special. Right, out we go. Stage two. Stage two. Oh, I love all this introductions to the uh, introductions to the world. They've taken classic role-playing games, or they've taken classic arcade games and, and modernized them. And I think this is what Bitmap Bureau do so well. They capture everything you love about retro gaming, classic gaming, 16-bit uh, gaming. They capture that 
and they, they just modernize it. So you feel like you're still playing those games that were on your Super Nintendo, your Neo Geo, and your Mega Drive, um, but they just apply all of this cool modern design, um, design sensibilities, audio design to it, um, visual design, they apply all the benefits, all the strides we've made in technology, but still manage to keep the essence of those classic games. Right, I'm gonna sit down and uh, get a couple of hours in with this game, and then I'll be right back with a full review of what I think of Battle Axe. The PlayStation 5 Special Edition is the definitive version of the game. It comes with a new casual mode that has infinite continues, there's a new strafing mechanic for your ranged attacks, there's an improved CRT mode, and there's a ton of balancing done to the overall gameplay. The game structure is remarkably similar to Xeno Crisis. You have a number of open spaces in each level. You kill off the enemies and collect the civilians. At the end of the level, you have a boss fight, and after this, you can buy items to help you in your next level. There are some slight differences in that you can buy perishables, things like chickens to renew your health, and the levels are not randomly generated like Xeno Crisis. But apart from these minor differences, structurally, the game is the same. Thematically and the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, though, are very different. The game has a fantasy setting and is brought to life through the beautiful artwork of Hank Nieburg, artist on games like Flink, Spyro, Batman Begins, and Xeno Crisis. This, coupled with the arcade hack and slash gameplay and awesome soundtrack, make for a pure, undiluted arcade experience. This is the kind of game that you would have found back in the mid 90s arcade cabs or on the Neo Geo AES. It's a game I wish you could play on the Super Nintendo or even better on the Sega Mega Drive. Younger players may wonder where all the meta gameplay is. Where is the ranking up system, the hidden objects, crafting, character customization, weapon skins, obligatory Marvel hero tie-in, and NFT trading system? The fact is that Battle Axe is about killing bad guys as quick and as efficiently as you can. And for that, it's glorious. You also won't have to sink in 150 hours into the game just to finish it. Like all true arcade games, it can be finished in about an hour. But this is an easy mode, with a rubbish score and a rank that doesn't even register on the alphabet. This game's longevity comes from mastering hard mode and going on to get rank A in Game Plus. It comes from getting bored of grinding in Call of Duty and just wanting to have fun for 30 minutes. This game is just about fun, and if that's what you want, if that's what you're after, then this game is perfect for you. <laughs> Evil has returned, and our champions must answer the call. What's this? More heroes wanting to dethrone? If Eldritch is once again terrorizing the land, confront her once and for all, and return peace to this world. Discover weapons, items, and artifacts to aid you in your quest as you power up your might along the way. Rescuing anyone helplessly caught in the sorceress's chaos. Darkness draws ever closer in the war against evil and sorcery. Will you show courage and fight? Or will you fall? The kingdom is <laughs> Battle Axe! This game is true fan service for those of us who love playing on the Sega Mega Drive, on the AES, or any classic 16-bit console game. If you want to capture that arcade nostalgia, then this game does it perfectly. It has a stunning soundtrack, the gameplay is pure, and the visuals are absolutely amazing. And because of this, this game demands that I give it a Golden Game Boy Award. That's it for this week's show. If you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen, why not consider subscribing? We put out brand new retro gaming videos every single Monday, and so that you never miss one, you can click on the little bell, which is just below the video. Now, if you can't wait until Monday, don't worry, because we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos, two of which you can watch over here.